Hello Aries, welcome to your singles tarot reading. Please only take what resonates, what makes sense and what fits for you. Whatever doesn't, please just leave it on out. It may be a message for someone else. So I'm going to take a look at what's coming in, what you can expect, the person coming towards you, uh, your energy right now with being single. We'll get into a lot here. And then I'm also going to pull some Oracle cards. We'll get features. We'll get more into the person coming towards you. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. And Aries, let's get right to the reading. Here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. So what you can expect, Aries, a lot of growth. Uh, this is a time where you're really focused on stability. You're really focused on making things happen here, focused on an energy, a person who's also going to support you and take action towards you and really come grounded, really come uh, so it's like solid within themselves, knowing what they want, what they want to do, how they want to move forward, the future they'd like to have build i feel like this is a time where you've really let go of the past and also wanting someone who doesn't have any past issues who isn't stuck in the past reminiscing or treating you a certain way because of their past so therefore you can really put a lot into a connection and also receive a lot in return because that person is matching your energy with wanting to support each other wanting to work hard wanting to grow with each other I feel like this is also a beautiful start. There's a new relationship here. This is fresh energy. This is a new start, a new beginning. So this is what you can expect. This is what's coming in totally brand new. Uh, nothing of the past coming in to influence uh, what you can expect. Ten of Cups, beautiful happiness, peace, harmony, beautiful connection. Uh, a lot of time, a lot of time being spent here on the bottom beautiful we've got the king of cups here so this is someone who is definitely in tune with their emotions this is someone who can be really gentle very sweet this is someone who really really takes uh, to heart how you feel the things that you need again it goes back to being grounded grounded in love expressing emotion showing love aries i feel like this is what you can expect someone who is um really mature when it comes to how they love when it comes to how they will show you love and also uh, really showing that they care about how you feel and how you want to be loved so really paying attention to that really being in tune with that really being compassionate when it comes to your heart and focused on the now focused on the future nothing of the past here letting go of that okay so you could be dealing with a water sign or Pisces. We have Aquarius here as well. Let's get a little more here. More about this person coming towards Aries. King of Wands, very determined, very brave, very confident. This person is all about taking action. This person may be a Leo, may be an Aries. Ace of Cups, this person is really ready to love. This person is open. This person is receptive. This person is really focused on a relationship, a long-term relationship here, Aries. Mm. I feel like this person has definitely been through a lot of loss, a lot of heartache, but it's not stopping them from moving forward. It's only going to make this person know truly in their heart what they want and know what they should offer someone in return so again i feel like this person has had a lot of time to heal this person has done their fair share of growth and this person is ready to just really embrace those new beginnings and really offer you that love that emotional support that beautiful connection of uh, the heart here page of cups so it's beautiful yeah very kind this person loves to be uh 
uh, spontaneous. They love to do things. They love to surprise uh, the person they're with. This person is full of surprises. This person is also very thoughtful here when it comes to what they do. They try to switch it up here, but everything again is coming from the heart. Very sweet, very sweet energy here with this person. A lot of fire and water. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, and Virgo. Okay. Let's see. Beautiful. Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this person is a really hard worker. What this person does, whatever they set their mind to, whatever they do as far as their career, I feel like a lot of them are, are in charge. A lot of them have a knack for business, uh, building, creating things, again, doing things, and they're very successful. This person, again, is always on the go. They're always doing things. They're always working. They're always trying to be creative here and, uh, again, show you some romance, uh, give you some surprises here, things you didn't expect, but that really make you happy, right? It's like those those happy surprises here. This person has a lot of um, tricks up their sleeve, but they're good because they're coming from the heart and it's just like they just want to make you smile. They just want you to be happy. Hermit, this person is a thinker. This person is really wise. This person has a lot of wisdom as well, Aries. Very strong strength here, determination here. This is someone who is very confident. Yeah, this is someone that looks good, very good looking. This person uh, not only cares about their appearance, but uh, they really care about their the moves they make. They care about what they put their energy into. I feel like this is someone who's also very patient and understanding when it comes to relationships, when it comes to new relationships and offering that love, right? Those, those sweet gestures here of showing you that they're interested. This person will take time if you need it because this person knows in the long run, that is what is important. The two of you staying connected and going at the pace that feels right for the both of you to have that beautiful growth here so this person understands they're very mature when it comes to love when it comes to relationships when it comes to understanding there's that king of cups again there's that king of cups i feel like this person is ready for serious long term this person is thinking about marriage this person is trying to get their money in order together this person is very serious this person isn't playing around they don't want to play games they're not trying to waste time they just want to find their person they just want to be happy and show someone affection make someone happy enjoy a new beginning here yeah, this person is also really understanding when it comes to disagreements, when it comes to arguments. I feel like this person really listens and will try to find the best way to work through obstacles together to make sure that the two of you can continue on the same boat, right? On the same page. So very smart here. This person pays attention. So we have Virgo again, Leo again, Cancer here, Aquarius, Leo. Taurus, Scorpio. All right. So let's take a look here. Okay. Ace of Swords. A lot of you are really strong. You've been through a lot, but this is a time where you have such clarity with what you want. The world is your oyster. You're ready for the next step, ready for a beautiful beginning here and only going to move forward and take action that leads to that. I feel like you guys have had a lot of time to release attachments, to let go of the past, to focus on new beginning here. I also feel like this is a time where you guys really want some excitement, want some passion and, uh, you know, uh, that temptation, just really wanting to be excited here. Uh, we have the king of pentacles and the queen. So a pair of stability here, a pair uh, who is truly committed to each other, who's working hard with each other, who is focused on the foundation that they build, the love they have, and making sure that it is grounded and making sure that it only grows stronger with each thing that you two are getting into doing for each other, doing independently. So this is a beautiful, successful connection here. 
person could be a Capricorn. Yeah, so you have a little bit of everybody here. Yeah, I feel like you are definitely wanting something serious. And this person is going to match that energy. Like they're going to be right there with you. This person doesn't want flings. They don't want a one night stand. They want their person. They want togetherness. They want marriage. They want a union. This is why you two have that pair here. Okay, let's see. Let's look at the two of you together. Let's take a look here. Mm, Knight of Wands. So while you guys have this energy of being really grounded, having a lot of stability, there's also still that fire, that spark here. It's like nothing is going to be able to stop you two from moving forward, from progress here. The two of you are going to be so confident uh, and comfortable with each other. Page of Wands, beautiful. There's going to be a lot of passion with you and this person. Uh, the chemistry between the two of you is going to be amazing. Uh, I feel like the intimacy that you two are going to have, uh, it's going to be off the charts. It's like the two of you aren't going to be able to get enough of each other. Uh, again, it's just like everything just connects. Everything just flows uh, correctly here the right, right way here nothing is going to stop this connection the two of you aren't going to let anyone even intrude on the connection that you two have because it's very strong it's very powerful uh, it's very passionate but again it has that stability it has that that really strong base that you want to have with someone having a lot of fun uh, i definitely see the two of you definitely having a lot of excitement like out uh, enjoying friends family this may be something that is really important to you or this person like a big family creating a family having fun with friends being very comfortable to just enjoy each other's time there's that foundation there it is four of wands happiness having reason to celebrate like the two of you it's going to feel like that happily ever after here because it has that base it has that essence all right it has the uh it has what it needs all right it has what it needs it's beautiful it's very strong this is a really nice balance here it's a nice balance between balance stability passion compassion understanding gentleness but yet that fire and that flame is here to spice it up. It's really happy. The two of you together, very happy. The sun, definitely enjoying each other. This is the kind of connection where it's like you two don't even argue much. It's like the, if there's any disagreements, they're so small. They're so minuscule. It's like, oh, okay, like. You guys get over it. You know, like you guys talk about it, done. Like it doesn't just get bigger and bigger and bigger to where you lose control over something so small because it has that structure. It has that base. So this is really beautiful. All right, let's look at a little more. I want to look at one more thing here. Let's take a look. For Aries. Okay, Emperor, Empress, my goodness. You have another pair here, Aries. Emperor, Empress. The Knight of Pentacles, look at that. More stability, loyalty, more earth energy. The Page, okay. So there's that King of Cups again. What is up with this King of Cups on the bottom of your deck? <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of romance here. Okay. There's going to be, you guys might fall really hard and fast for this person, but it's not just you. I feel like this person is going to fall madly in love with you, but it's like you both, it's, 
it's instantaneous. Like you both fall for each other. I don't know who's going to tell who first, but it's definitely that instant connection. Like you two just feel it when you're around each other, when you're getting to know each other. I definitely feel like um, knowing that you have control to uh, take this relationship when this, you meet this person and the pace that you'd like to go is really important. But I do see this person being very patient and understanding what it is that you need, wanting to understand what it is that you need, Aries, and moving forward. I see the two of you really showering each other with affection and love where it really matters, where it really counts, because this connection is going to be really grounded in loyalty and commitment. I do see the two of you also learning a lot from each other so there's enough opposite here to where you could still learn and you can learn new things from this person because this person is very smart and they know a lot there's a lot here that this person is into that you might not be into but you two can bounce off each other but I definitely see this connection leading to uh, some long term here really I mean this is has what it takes here Aries marriage growth having that reason to celebrate connected with family and friends it's like really close really bonded so really taking control here and going for what you want when putting yourself back out there as single when you guys feel like you are ready if you're not already. But again, beautiful growth here for you. Staying focused also on the things that you want to learn and the things you want to do for yourself might be really important. This may be how you meet this person here. So a lot here about learning, a lot here about taking action, a lot here about stepping up and doing the things that you want to do that are going to make you happy. Okay. And then when you do that, here's that Knight of Cups. Here's that magic between the two of you. Unstoppable, beautiful potential here. So we have Aries, we have Taurus, more earth energy. All right, let's get some Oracle cards here. All right. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost. There's been a lot of loss here. I feel like the two of you are really going to connect there. You both have had a lot of loss, a lot of sadness uh, when it comes to relationships. But again, that's only going to bring you two together and let your strengths really show the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, honor, force, protection, power, power couple here powerful energy between the two of you this connection with this person coming towards you it feels like you're going to be really sure here because everything is very clear it's like the two of you are going to know what you want and know that you two match each other very well here so again there's beautiful power and strength here all right karmic relationship fleeting triggers turmoil resentment letting go and loving you some of you may just be focused on yourself right now that beautiful empress energy just taking time to do what you want to do right creating something learning something new getting back out there being more social uh from everything that you've been through here dealing with some karmic relationships where you had to learn a lot some tough lessons here right deeply hurt sad separation breakups but again this person is going to see the strength in you and see the person that you are and there's so much here about appreciating each other and giving each other that beautiful support here and taking action as well when it comes to love when it comes to going for what you want that's not going to be an issue here it's very clear very honest very truthful i feel like the two of you are going to protect each other so beautiful power here and love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. I feel like it's going to be really intense and instant when you meet this person. Like, you're just going to feel it. You're just going to know it. This person is going to be like, whoa, like, who is this person? <laughs> okay. It's like once this connection starts, there's no stopping it. It's just going to keep going and going and going and growing and growing, getting stronger and stronger. Let's see. Let's get a little here about this person's personality. Person coming towards Aries. 
this person can be unpredictable. So this person um, may love to be random. They love to do random things. They don't let anything hold them back from jumping into something new. All right. This person is very competitive, extremely independent, easily stressed. We have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, you have a little bit of everybody here. All right, this person may be a risk taker, definitely a doer, definitely all about action. They get bored easy. This is the kind of person who likes to jump into things. They like to do things. They might get kind of bored just sitting around watching TV all the time. They want to uh, explore. They want to experience. They just want to have fun. Okay. Unstructured, defiant, impulsive, commitment, phobic. Get a little more here. This person might take relationships very serious. They don't let people in easy because there has been a lot of heartbreak here, a lot that this person has learned, but it's only, it's really made them better. Dominant, insensitive, they dislike confrontation. Okay. This person is considerate, supportive, unique, people skills, very social, possible interest, family, friendship, health, spirituality, financial security, coaching, a chef, buyer. This person likes nice things. This person likes to look good. They like to smell good. This person is very social, especially when it comes to friends, close friends, family. This is something very important. I feel like this person has a really... Um, uh, like a magnetic personality. Like people love to just, you know, there's some people that people just instantly gravitate to. They love to speak to. This is that kind of person. Okay. We have air Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Let's get one more. All right. This person is generous, outgoing, warm hearted, unconventional, their possible interests, catering, nutrition, real estate, mechanics. This person loves to build. This person is really good with their hands. They're good at building certain things. This is what they do. Family traditions, cooking, entertaining, charity, community. Okay. All right. Let's get some more here. Let's get some features. All right. brown hair. This person may have tattoos plus size. Okay. They have a mohawk. They have their hair shaved on the side, black hair. They have a mole or beauty mark, blonde hair. One more and red hair. All right, let's see. Let's get some more signs. More about this person coming towards Aries. Okay. So the Chinese Zodiac rat here, this person is intelligent, adaptable, resourceful, very quick witted, charming, artistic, and sociable. Very fun. Very exciting. All right. We have Leo here. Their strengths, outgoing, humorous, faithful, and generous, very kind, very generous, full of surprises here of excitement here Aries and there you are Aries enthusiastic witty confident and honest this person might match your energy Scorpio resourceful passionate and determined all right let's get more about this person this person coming towards single Aries All right, 
their career, they're into social media, entrepreneur, side hustle, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, graphic designer, computer tech. All right, this person is toned. They have a nice walk, long legs. This person is a great cook, different ethnic background. This person may own a restaurant or works in the culinary field. So this person loves to cook. This person throws it down in the kitchen. They know how to cook a lot of different things here. They love to cook for uh, their person that they're with. Fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, you have everybody here. Let's get a couple more here person likes to work out they definitely care about their appearance like they take care of themselves right they like to eat well but they also like to indulge they like to have fun as well but they're gonna make time <laughs> like to work out to do what they need to do okay successful businessman well dressed all right family yeah partnership commitment motherhood fatherhood these are things that are important to this person family fun energetic beautiful all right distinct facial features eyes lips mole freckles these are things you may notice these are things you may like be attracted to uh, when it comes to this person let's do one more clean shaven bald head baby face no facial hair this person is very clean cut All right, let's get more here. The person coming towards Aries. Okay. Darker skin. Okay. Virgo. <laughs> Green eyes. All right, blue eyes, black hair, Aquarius, all right, ex-lover, Sagittarius. Let's do one more. Feminine energy. Loves to dress up. All right, let's get some more here. Taking a leap here. It's time to leap out of the darkness and into the light filled with positivity. Filled with possibilities, Aries. Filled with happiness for you. This is a time for you to uh, join in, to get into things that you've always wanted to do, to things you've been thinking about doing. There's a lot here about meeting new people, new friends, leading to new beginnings here. So taking some leaps. On the bottom, have faith. Have faith. All things are possible. All the possibilities. All right. Never losing faith. Always staying hopeful. Always staying positive. Always doing you. Challenges. All true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. I feel like you and this person are going to have that, like really be able to work through things and not let challenges become huge problems. And that's a beautiful thing. That's a wonderful thing. Rejoice, embrace your loving connection. There's so much here to be happy for so much here uh, again of having reasons to celebrate or no reasons at all just being happy a time of loving yourself someone truly loving you and both of you rejoicing together in love okay
harmony, beautiful happiness here. That's that balance. Being happy together, understanding each other. There's a beautiful way that the two of you connect, the way you two bounce off each other, the way you two learn from each other and enjoy the excitement, even with challenges. Again, so much power here. Letting go, letting go of the past, ready to take new leaps, not going to let anything hold you back from your happiness, Aries. This is the time for you to rejoice. Cycles, letting go of cycles, learning from the karmic relationships that you've been in. And this is a time of new beginnings. This is a time of only moving forward advancement. Oath, there's someone here who's going to take this connection very serious. They're going to be very loyal, very dedicated and focused on what's important. You, this connection, the future. Ending cycles. And ready for the next phase. It may take a leap for some of you. To leap and to let go. To be able to enjoy this kind of harmony. To rejoice. To be open and embrace love. Once again. Someone who takes it serious like you do. Differences here. Duality here. So again, there's a lot that's going to be bouncing off the two of you energetically, like with who you are, your personalities, but it just makes it much more sweet. It makes it that much more exciting. Again, a lot to learn, a lot to learn. New adventures here together, all right? It's not only new adventures uh, when it comes to intimacy because there's a lot of that here too, Aries. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be really steamy. It's going to be really passionate, but the most important thing is it's like this connection has what it takes to move through to where you're not going through cycle cycle again it's like the same old thing over and over this is what's breaking and the cycles may have been a challenge that you've been going through dating but again it may take something different here how differences can really bring you two together Can be a beautiful combination okay regeneration this is all about letting go this is all about taking the leaps here. There's a lot that is going to be so new for you. Having a brand new fresh start, especially for those of you who right now are just enjoying being single and just wanting to focus on things you want to accomplish while you're healing. But again, all of this is a part of your transformation, your regeneration, coming out even stronger, better, wiser, more prepared, right? Being able to put up those healthy boundaries to protect yourself. All right, that respect, it's what it comes down to because you're not going to go through cycles anymore. The challenges that you're going to face moving ahead are only going to bring you and this person closer together instead of drifting more apart, instead of more hurt from not learning certain lessons here. So beautiful new beginnings here with what can grow when things have just crumbled and burnt up. There's new growth here. Okay. And on the bottom, beautiful piece, beautiful harmony. I feel like there's a lot that's cooking right now for you, Aries, okay, when it comes to what's being brought to you. I just feel like focusing um, on, again, the things that are really important to you and letting go of the past and not being afraid to take leaps, not being, not being, um, uh, letting fear get in the way of taking control of what you want to do yourself. 
So when this egg cracks, this new beginning here, this is where all that enjoyment comes in. All that I've been talking about with this person, but more so you just feeling more peace within yourself. And then the love flows. Then that follows. And it's very different. It's very exciting. But it has what's important. So this is a really important transformation and a beautiful transformation here to where challenges don't become an issue over and over. They just make you stronger, wiser, and your person stronger, wiser together. You have a lot of beautiful pairings here. Okay, let's get a little more. Shy, someone here is going to be really shy, really reserved, very quiet, reconciled love. All right, let's get a timing card here. Let's see what we can get. For those of you who haven't met this person already, let's see. Process, oh, process, proceed with caution. There's a lot cooking, there's a lot changing. Taking time, setting up healthy boundaries, taking the time that you feel is important. Not rushing, because I do feel like this person might fall kind of fast. <clears throat> and this person gets caught up in excitement. They go for what they want here. All right, control. Knowing that you are in control, knowing that you can set up healthy boundaries and not fear taking a leap, not fear moving forward, knowing that you are in control here. Caution, taking caution. Let's see. All right, last one, Aries, your last message here. I love you. These are powerful words. And I feel like you and this person aren't going to just say them to say them. There's going to be a moment here with this kind of connection to where you'll know when this person says these words, they really do mean it. This person will know that you mean it. It's very special. It's very sacred. It's very genuine. All right, so Aries, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.